So with my rolling pin and my uh, wood, um, you can use either one of these. This is a rolling pin, a wood rolling pin, impression rolling pin, and this is an impression mat. Either one will work. Okay, so here's my chocolate fondant. I've already got this kneaded up. It's got a little bit of glitter on it. I was working with glitter earlier, so now I have glitter everywhere. I'm sticking to the, there we go, a little shortening, a uh, little cornstarch because we're sticking to our, I'm going to be able to roll out a lot easier. You don't need this really thick. But you don't want it too thin to show the, uh, the ridges of the board, but this is big enough to fit the board. So what I'm going to do is em emboss it. Now, and I can wait to emboss it on the, while it's on there, on when I've already covered it, but I'm just going to emboss it now, and I might re-emboss it when I put it on. You just roll the pin over it. And it's going to be kind of covered up in the middle, so it won't. Okay, so I pretty much got that taken care of. I'm going to put a little bit of, you can use piping gel, or in my case, I'm just going to use a little bit of shortening. Make sure you get it around the edges so that you, you can, I think you can also use water. I've used water sometimes, but because uh, it's cardboard, I don't want it to soften the cardboard up. But just use the shortening all the way around so the fondant will stick to the board. Like I said, I've used, I've used icing too. Piping gel, whatever it takes. Okay, and just lift it up. <clears throat> now, when you smooth this out, careful that you don't press too hard to erase your you erase your marks here from your imp uh, impression roller. If you do, it's no big deal. You can just roll over that one little spot, or you can use a toothpick to. Um, mark it. I'm just trying to get it around the edge here. Now you can cut it on the top edge or you can cut them on the bottom edge depending on your cake uh, if you're going to put a ribbon on it or not. I am not. So I'm just going to cut it right here at the bottom edge. I usually use my spatula but I'm going to use scissors in this case. So it's easier all that excess off. The weight's going to pull it and tear it, so you want to get it off as soon as you can. You could use a pizza cutter to get rid of the excess while it's on the, on the counter. So many different ways to do it. and I can't get that to, I usually use a, uh, a sharp spatula. I must not have it. So I'm just smoothing it against the edges. <clears throat> so I can give it a final cut so it's nice and smooth. And I'll need to put a little bit of frosting or gel to get the uh, Want it to stick to these, it's not sticking to the edge, the side edge, so I'll put a little bit of gel on that. 